What is up guys and welcome back to the video. Today we are back at WR Technica getting the S2000 ready because we have two track days this weekend. One track day is pretty much just a basic track day and then the second track day which is going to be on Sunday is the actual competition for the Rita dog fight and I am stoked. It will be my first competition ever. I'm very excited just to get back and drive in the S2000. So we have a brand new set of Yokohama AO52s and this time we are changing the wheel setup on the S2000. So these are, this is going to be a brand new wheel and a bigger tire for this next track day. So we have the new Titan TS5s. These look really good. It's a different style than what's currently on the S2000 and we upgraded to 18. So he's a little bit wider and an inch bigger in diameter, which is gonna be pretty awesome, right Tim? Yeah, no what, more spacers. Yeah, so what is the, the difference in diameter gonna help me do on track? Um, well, it's gonna make your sidewall a little bit tighter. 17s, you had a thicker sidewall. Right. So they flex a lot more and the 18s won't have that. So it's gonna be a little bit more of a solid turn in. Ooh, that's what we need, <laughs> Tim. That's what we need, baby. So here are the new tires, brand new freaking meat. I love it and then the TS5s. And of course, we're gonna do a corner balance and alignment so that this car is perfect for Saturday and Sunday. First ever competition and double track day, Tim. I'm very excited and we're gonna be so tired. Yeah, we're gonna be very tired. <laughs> also today, if you guys remember, our last track day was at Laguna Seca and on the corkscrew, we actually blew out my splitter. So today we're gonna be fixing that, fixing that with some Gorilla Tape. We're literally just gonna tape up all the holes in the splitter so that there's no gaps and this is gonna be good to go. We are gonna have a replacement splitter uh, made for us and it's actually a V2 version of the splitter which is really, really cool but uh, the Gorilla Tape will work just fine with the splitter right now and it's doing some race car mods. Let's take a little sneak peek at the uh, TS5s, Tim. So these are the same exact color that are on the car right now. I do like the TS5s. Check them out, Tim. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Two, so. I really like the Titan 7s because not only are they forged, they're light, and they're very, very affordable. So people who want to have multiple track tires or just lightweight forged wheels, these are really good to pick up because they are affordable for everybody to get. And here is, yeah, these look really nice. Here is the styling that we went with for the new wheel setup. More spokes, more aggressive looking, and I think it's gonna I think look- they're gonna look Yeah, and they'll be bigger in the wheel well. It's gonna look really, really good. I'm stoked for this. thing sits on the ground. <laughs> I think it's gonna be just fine. I think it'll be right at the perfect point, but sidewall's a little bit smaller like Tim was talking about. This is gonna be so much better on the track. And it just looks freaking sick. Seeing an S2000 on an 18s, super good. So it makes your brakes look a little small. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, those 18s look freaking sick. Holy crap. 18s look way better, especially with the spoon kit. Very nice. I have tons of more room back here too, dude. Yeah. I could run a fat tire in the rear. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, well we know for next time that I have tons more room back here. And then even in the front, even right here, it's a good amount of room. It's perfect. <laughs> we just have lots of track mods and stuff to do today. Another thing that we have to do today, fix the splitter, and that's what we're doing. <laughs> and that's what we're doing. We are using the Gorilla Tape to actually just close up all the gaps in the splitter that I blew out uh, during Laguna Seca. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Things happen, you yeah. Know, you know. And it will work. It's, it's, this is very common to like go ahead and tape your splitter. So we're just gonna tape it, get it all good to go, and this car is gonna be perfect for Saturday and Sunday. It has 
been a while since we've updated you guys, but the car is now on the trailer. Unfortunately, we are having some issue that is not allowing the car, the car to start again. We swapped batteries because uh, the car needed a new battery and I think it might have like reset the ECU somehow and the car is not getting fuel again. So we had to push the car onto the trailer. By the way, how awesome do these freaking wheels look? I am in love. The 18s look number, good number one, but the styling of the TS5, this is by far my favorite set that has been on the S2000. So we're gonna bring this thing home. I have to see if I can reload the map back onto the car, onto the car so that it'll start. And let's just get ready for our Saturday track event. I'm super excited. See you guys in Paris. Hey guys, we're gonna take a quick break in today's video to give a big thank you to today's video sponsor, Movement. If you guys don't know what Movement is, Movement is a watch and accessory company based out of Los Angeles, California, and I've been with them for years. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at their new watch, the Legacy Slim, and it is amazing. Right here, I have the Legacy Slim Grizzly Brown watch. It's the perfect go-to office and business watch. It's ultra slim and sleek and goes great with both suits and tees. Compact 40 millimeter size for a dressier feel, classic rich colorways if you guys want to do something different than the grizzly brown like I have and it has very nice details such as polished and brushed case finish like I said movement has tons of other accessories and styles of watches some of my favorites include the mariner if you guys have not checked out the mariner I highly suggest you go do that also they have sunglasses and glasses for you guys to wear my personal glasses that I wear are movement and I absolutely love them and best of all you guys can use my code Dustin 15 to save yourself 15% off you guys are interested in checking out anything for movement watches accessories glasses i'm going to leave their link down in the description box below so you guys can check it out once again go to movement.com and use my code dustin15 to save yourself 15 percent off let's get into the video Right, guys day number two of the video and I have some good news because as I told you guys we could not figure out why in the heck this car wouldn't start and I re-uploaded the tune on it I guess like unplugging the battery had something to do with it maybe I reloaded the tune on it and the car started up and we are at the track so we just had a practice day and I didn't want to film I don't want to film too much of it because I really wanted to focus on practicing because tomorrow is a competition but of course I have to qualify for that competition I have to be fast enough in order to compete so I, I really wanted to focus on doing well today learning the track I did film my fastest lap thankfully which was a 207 so I'll overlay that here
big day. So there's one more session in the day, but I'm gonna call it. I like the 207 time and it's getting really hot outside. I really wanna save these new tires for tomorrow as well and I don't wanna burn them out too much because I want a perfect and fresh set for tomorrow's qualifying sessions. Sim, what do you think? I think today was a good day, a hot day. Yeah. And uh, you learned a lot about We the did new learn. Setup. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to talk about that. The 18s are very, very different than the 17s, and I didn't think that it would be that much different. Huge difference. We had problems all day until our very last session. We figured it out. Yeah, so, I think we got it now. So. Yeah, we adjusted pressures, adjusted a few other things, and I think we've figured this out. And of course, I learned the track a little bit more too. So I'm very happy that we were actually able to get this car ready. Still working, thankfully. And tomorrow we are going to be good for the qualifying session. So we are actually done for today. I'm going to film all the track stuff in tomorrow's vlog so that you guys can see all that. Like I said, just wanted to focus on it. But we're gonna go ahead and clean up our little area and we're gonna head to our race car hotel. So just for reference for you guys, since I have to qualify tomorrow, this is where I currently stand. Let's see, I am currently fifth with a 207.9 and I am just getting beat by tenths of a second. Two, two tenths of a second are the people who are beating me. And then of course, we have Matt up here. Matt's just insane with a 159. Everybody else, we're all in the 207s, which I think we can get it, boys. I think we can get it. And tomorrow, I don't know exactly how qualifying works. I think for qualifying, the way it, the way it's gonna work is each session you have a top three, I believe. I'm not positive on that, but that's what I believe. And I'm just getting beat by two tenths of a second, other than Matt, of course, because Matt's yeah. just ridiculous. But uh, I think we can do it. So we have to really be on our best game tomorrow, which is why we're cutting it short today. No sense in, you know, losing more tire today in the heat when I can run, oh, shit, gonna burp. When I can run a really good time in the morning when it's cool tomorrow. So wish me luck, boys. Send some good vibes, even though this has already happened. But I need some love here because I'm nervous, but I think we can do it, Tim. You got this. If we don't, I'm not even gonna say that because we are. Right, boys? All right. We have arrived at the race car hotel, thankfully. Dude, this is how you guys know I've been to the track when my hair and my face is absolutely summer. Look at this, this is so bad. We have made it to the hotel. This is probably the nicest hotel that we've stayed at at a racetrack. You guys know, first things first, we are always gonna do a hair check in the bed. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Do we spot any hairs in, oh my God, we got one live. That is disgusting. Why do I always find hairs in my bed, dude? Listen, I got you to pick the bed and it always has hair. God dang it. If you guys go to a hotel and don't do a hair check, always do a hair check. That's Let's so gross. Mind. We may or may not have taken a little detour on the way home and picked up a couple of things. Please don't tell Tiana. <laughs> We're gonna have some fun tonight. We are gonna get some rest, eat some food, and make sure that I am well rested for tomorrow's competition. In all seriousness, I am absolutely really, really nervous for tomorrow's competition. It's my first ever comp, and uh, I just gotta drive my absolute best tomorrow and just really get everything I can out of the car and really focus in on it. So that's our goal, and I'm gonna show you guys the entire day of, uh, look, dude, I just, no one's gonna take me seriously with my hair. Show you guys what a competition day, this is even worse, what a competition day is like, um, and I'm excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see all of you in the next one. Peace out.